The following video is neither made by the official DDFH, nor affiliated to them. It is only a fan-made reaction video to Devious Diesel's most hated characters list from DDFH. Warning, due to a high amount of spoilers, I strongly recommend you watch this series before watching this video. If you haven't, please click on the link below. Hello, welcome to James King's Comics and Entertainment. Are any of you Mario fans? SpongeBob fans? Sonic fans? I hope you won't get offended by Devious Diesel. Throughout the long years and months Diesel worked with customers, he has accumulated a list of characters he hates, called the Most Hated Characters List. Today's video will be an award ceremony about the rankings of each character in the list, least to most hated. Before we start the ceremony, let's take a look at all the candidates from Diesel's Most Hated Characters List. This is Devious the Easel's first most hated characters list as of episode 54. Then, new characters were added in episode 67. Our award ceremony today will be based on both the original list from episode 54, as well as the extended list from episode 67. Hello, I'm Bowser, created in Bitmagee. I'll be your host for today's award ceremony. Our most hated award ceremony will start with the top 30 most hated characters, divided into two groups. Moderately hated and most hated. After all the medalists have been announced, we'll end the ceremony with the less hated characters in the list. And now, we go to the moderately hated. Number 30, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown, who got DD fired and bound, is slightly worse compared to Phineas and Ferb, who are just a place lower. He was a returning customer, and referred to the Easel as the same idiot who worked at Burger King. Number 29, Deadpool. Deadpool also got the easel fired, but Dee Dee didn't get banned as a result of Deadpool telling on him. He is also the reason why Dee Dee had to work at Job 50, and get probably, the worst beating and firing of all time. Number 28, Red from Angry Birds. Diesel's argument with Red about vanilla ice cream eventually resulted in Red Rage quitting. The reason why Red would even be in the top 30 is because of how heated their argument could get over something this small. Number 27, Firefighters from Job 64. Compared to police, a job lower in the list, Diesel didn't have much freedom on choosing the way he treated some of his most hated characters. The last words Dee Dee said when he left the fire station are definitely enough to bring them into top 30. Number 26, Ninja Fox. She is the only character that could turn the Easel into a scary teeth guy, which makes a lot of sense for me to put her in, say, top 20, right? However, the only thing Ninja Fox really did to DD was ripping his most hated characters list, which he can just redo in like half an hour. Number 25, Jimmy Neutron and Star Butterfly. They were the top two contestants in Diesel's character elimination. Due to how much DD could have gained if he was able to keep the $1 million for himself, they are much higher in the list compared to Finn, Jake, and Mewtwo, who were in the same team as Mario, Sonic, and SpongeBob. Number 24, Unicity. She is the lowest ranked character who actually beat the easel up. DD's past memory of Unicity didn't trigger him much in the future. In addition, if she didn't try buying something Mario related, Diesel probably wouldn't even put her in the list at all. Number 23, Mega Man and Peg Man. Because compared to Mario and Sonic, characters associated with them haven't appeared in DDFH yet, and these two have never hurt DD physically or gotten him fired. It could go up, however, if, for example, Ms. Pac-Man came as a customer, or the Pac-Man ghost came to hurt Pac-Man. Number 22, Patrick. Diesel will definitely hate Patrick more than Squidward, because he is SpongeBob's best friend. He even threatened to cut him up and serve him as restaurant's food, and Patrick annoyed Dee Dee with his long uh. Number 21, Mr. Krabs. Diesel's reasons for hating Mr. Krabs should probably be stronger than Patrick's. He fired Dee Dee and banned him from Regency Gaming for life, helped a customer who beat him up, and didn't let Plankton, a Spongebob character he actually likes, steal the Krabby Patty formula. Number 20, Tyrone Cowden. One of the only characters in this list that the Easel can legally sue, since Tyrone was not only the one who started the fight, but Dee Dee could also show proof of his injuries, unlike say, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He got beat up, but you couldn't see him injured in a specific part of the body. Number 19, Bubbles and Buttercup. It was fun when the Easel was mistreating them, but his confrontation with Blossom is where Karma actually bites him in the butt. From episode 76, when the Easel broke the rules and gave free food to the Rowdy Rough Boys, you can probably tell how bad his hatred for the Powerpuff Girls was. 
Number 18, Paxton, Denton, Art. Diesel's hatred for these three happened before the show, when we were trying to enter the Great Railway Show, where Paxton, Denton, and Dart made the easel screw up. The main reason why I would put them up in number 18 is because of Dee Dee's respect and desire of appreciation from the fat controller, Sir Topham Hat. Number 17, Construction Workers from Job 45. This is a job that could otherwise be the end of Diesel's job hunt journey. He has actually built something that could count as a mall, but unfortunately, it wasn't what his boss wanted, and his co-workers didn't appreciate any of his hard work. I would put him in number 17 for now, but it could be higher if they're returned as customers in a future job. Number 16, Erida, Mimi, Baby. Compared to a normal employee working at McDonald's or Burger King, a thing that makes the easel different is the high amount of profanity he uses. However, these customers are currently the only ones to successfully stop DD from expressing his feelings in this form. The adult customers he swears it can take profanity properly, but what about a little kid, or a baby, right? And finally, the most hated. Number 15, SpongeBob SquarePants. Top 10 if only counting the list from Eps 1 to 53. It's not surprising to see SpongeBob get this high in this list, due to the easel's hatred to not just SpongeBob himself, but also people associated with him. However, their feud couldn't go anywhere farther than, of course, a verbal argument. Therefore, SpongeBob is only number 15. Number 14, Blossom. Blossom is the first female character in DDFH to successfully beat the easel up. Diesel's past memory of Blossom beating him up does trigger him a little in the future, but since he didn't get sued, beaten up by other people associated to her, or get fired as a result, Blossom is only number 14. Number 13, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry only beat Dee Dee up once, like Blossom. However, they were the final customers of Dee Dee's job, and Diesel disliked mice as a whole after Tom and Jerry beat him up, making them higher than Blossom, and even number 9, because Blossom was excluded, in the list from just Eps 1 to 53. Number 12, Gengen. I separated Gengen from his other Super Monkey Ball friends from number 16, because he roasted the Easel in Hot Topic, and beat him up when he saw Dee Dee again, after his curse words got censored. I put him in number 12, because Dee Dee's past memory of Gengen didn't trigger him much in the future, but the beating might have been a little too much when just censoring curse words already does the trick. Number 11, Mario. Diesel treated a bunch of customers badly, because of their association with Mario, or them wanting to buy something Mario related. Mario never got Dee Dee fired, or beat him up, but Diesel's hatred for even people wanting to buy a game or item related to Mario from stores he worked at is strong enough to put him on number 8 in the list from just Eps 1 to 53. And now, finally, to the top 10. Number 10, Daffy Duck. The difference between Daffy and Mario, SpongeBob, Gengen, or Blossom, is that Diesel basically wants to kill everyone in the top 10. He is probably the one who swears back at the easel most in the whole list, and his association with Bugs Bunny, who is even higher in the top 10, might aggravate Dee Dee to the extent of hurting him physically in the future. Number 9, Papyrus. Let's take a look at the places Papyrus ordered from actually sold milk, shall we? No milk and pizza hut. So the easel's right. I guess in Hungry Jacks, Peppers can order coffee with milk, or a milkshake. Shake Shack has a milk bar. But would Dee Dee tell him that? I guess Peppers can go for frozen custard, or milkshake. Diesel can actually tell him that either they don't sell milk, or recommend an item similar to milk, like milkshakes, or coffee. Instead, however, Diesel threatened to crush Peppers' bones, and just kick him out, just because he kept on calling himself cool. From Dee Dee's response, you can tell Peppers is one he hates especially much. Number 8, Peter Griffin. Top 5 if only counting the list from Eps 1 to 53. What Dee Dee did to him, especially when he was a firefighter, and not a store slash restaurant employee, is one that makes Peter Griffin get on the list. Keep in mind, Diesel beating Peter Griffin like Ernie that giant chicken wasn't the first beating that got him sued. 
He still gave him a beating that could get him in legal trouble. Just over singing the Surf and Bird song proves that he can definitely make it into the top 5 if only counting the list from Eps 1 to 53. Number 7. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Diesel's hatred for these four turtles isn't as irrational as Mario's, SpongeBob's, Papyrus, or Peter Griffin's. These four turtles get into fights often, and even for small reasons, like refusing to give pizza at Walmart. Yes, Dee Dee would definitely want to kill these four, but not as enthusiastic as the six on top of them. Number 6. Dylan McCarthy Bronze medalist if only counting the list from Eps 1 to 53, a most hated character originating from Go Animate. Diesel's hatred for Dylan originates from him being his manager back in the thrift store, maybe because it was the first time he got told on by a customer. Sure, Dee Dee was able to hold in his anger and let Dylan get his Mario Carvey, a game Diesel hates, but he later got Dee Dee blamed for beating up a customer he beat up for self-defense. He hated Dylan so much after that, to the extent of giving us Door Hammer, which isn't for sale, to his evil clone to kill him. And now, finally to the top 5. Number 5, Sonic. Silver medalist if only counting the list from Eps 1 to 53. The reason why Sonic is in the top 5, and not Dylan, is because Dylan didn't have any friends appearing as customers in DDFH, such as Emily Maglovsky. Diesel's hatred towards Sonic is of a much greater degree compared to Mario's, because everyone from the franchise, except Knuckles, either got him fired, or physically hurt him. The reason why Sonic is more hated than TM and he is because of the severity of the things characters associated with Sonic did to DD, such as getting him banned from restaurants, or almost killing him by pushing him into the ocean. The question I find interesting, however, is, why didn't Easel eliminate Sonic first thing in character elimination? Number 4, Amy Rose. Sonic only used the Chaos Emeralds to beat the Easel up. Amy Rose's Pico Pico Hammer, however, is so strong, it can break DD's bones. DD can't really sue Amy Rose, but he can definitely call 911 when he was in Baskin Robbins. Not to mention, Diesel also got banned from the 31 place, because his boss was trying to stand up for her. The main reason why she is placed higher than Sonic is because of her power, and the consequences of the Easel confronting her. And now, finally to the medalists. Number 3, Bronze Medal, Bugs Bunny. Gold Medalist if only counting the list from Eps 1 to 53. A number of characters in the list, and not just Peter Griffin, can suit Diesel, such as Bugs Bunny, Trip, and Buttercup. However, what makes Bugs much higher than the others is that Dee Dean ever gave up trying to actually end the life of this little bunny. As a result, Bugs Bunny filed a restraining order on Diesel, and Bugs bringing in Daffy Duck adds fuel to Dee Dee's fire of ultra mega hatred for him. Compared to the silver and gold medalist, however, he doesn't have the ability to hurt Dee Dee severely. And DD knows that as long as he stays away from Bugs Bunny, he won't get into any legal trouble. Number 2, Silver Metal, Shadow. Shadow is like Amy Rose, but worse, and like Tyrone Calvin, Diesel can actually sue him, as long as he can prove that the water getting into his engine parts can actually prevent it from functioning properly. There isn't too much I need to say about why Shadow deserves a silver medal, but DD not getting into any legal trouble himself is still enough to keep Shadow from getting gold. And finally, the gold medal. Number 1, Gold Medal, Vinny the North American Engine. Why is a Thomas character, and not Sonic, Shadow, or Bugs Bunny getting a gold medal? Vinny destroyed the whole Carl's Jr. restaurant, and somehow, Diesel got blamed, and he is forced to pay the bills, instead of Vinny. Due to Vinny not having the intentions to kill Diesel, he would probably be lower in the list, as long as Vinny owns up and pays the bill for Diesel. But really, why would he want to pay? And that's all for the medalists. Let's take a look at the rankings of the rest of the list. Well, that's all for now. Do you agree with my picks? Please comment down below. I'm definitely looking forward to when the creator at DDFH will update this list and add some new characters there. But the question I already have right now is, will the top 5, or at least top 10, stay the same? Stay tuned.